American Pickers star Jersey John's New Jersey Antique Restoration Store slammed for rude staff and ignoring customers. Hello everyone, my name is Alana B. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up American Pickers star John Chalet. Aka Jersey John's antique restoration store has been slammed by customers. Jersey John has appeared on episodes of American Pickers through the years. On the July 5 premiere episode, he joined Mike Wolf in New York City to pick through sewing machine repairman Stephen Hecht's store Hecht Sewing Machine and Motor. The U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal John's New Jersey store, First National Antique Restoration. In Barnegat Township, New Jersey has been hit with mixed reviews. One customer wrote on Google Reviews, just driving by and thought it was an antique shop. Didn't realize it was a by appointment only business and we were rudely chased away. Very unfriendly people. The owner responded to the review. We are a restoration company and working with machinery. The property is clearly marked no trespassing on the front door side door on all the fences and driveway. You obviously were the rude one to ignore our request to not be trespassing. We have been in business doing high-quality restorations for 40 years and do not tolerate rude people walking into our work area. A second Google review read, The guy is never there and doesn't return phone calls to make an appointment. A potential customer complained, spoke with the owner of the establishment asking if he would take a look at a gate-legged table I have. Asked if my husband could bring it to his shop for him to look at. He had previously stated that all his restorations start at $1,200. I told him I thought $1,200 was pricey to restore a table worth only a few hundred dollars. So I asked if he would mind giving us a few tips on how we could restore the table ourselves. His answer was, I don't give teaching lessons or instructions on how to refinish furniture. I said I would only ask what products to use on the table. He repeated the same answer. First National Antique Restoration did not immediately respond to the U.S. Sun's request for comment. But John's work speaks for itself as customers have praised him for his talented restorations. One customer wrote, I brought a chair to National Antique Restoration that was centuries old and covered in paint. My dad found it at least 40 years ago in a basement in Manhattan. I never knew what it truly looked like. The refinishing of the chair was perfect and every detail that was missing before has shown through. I cannot thank National Antique Restoration enough for giving me back an absolutely beautiful chair. John is amazing. A second praised, John and Christine, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have restored my Nana and Pop-Pop's dining room furniture so beautifully. Each project you have done for us was worth every penny, but you went above and beyond expectations on this one. I wouldn't hesitate to do it again. My family will treasure it for another 100 years. I cannot walk into that room without smiling. We will be calling you soon about the next project. A third wrote, We recently had a 50-year-plus old table, restored by John and Christine, that included peeling off a 24-diameter leather piece that was yellowed and covered in old furniture polish. The wood was chipped, scratched, and dug out in places. The metal pieces were so brown and covered in tacky oil we assumed once removed they would need to be replaced. We were gobsmacked at the results. It was worth every penny and then some. They don't do things in half measures. The results were stunning. Our expectations were really low. I had no idea the craftsmanship and care given to this mess of a table, which I thought we might be throwing money away on, would return this result. If you have something you love that needs to be restored, these are the people to hire. John often shows off his restoration projects on social media. He captioned a photo of a restored printer's case on Instagram. 1873 printer's case restoration, the internal structure was worn away and not functional, made a complete internal replacement of the drawer runners, 
to make this beautiful piece of American history relevant once again hashtag Harpress. He also posted of a chest. Ready for delivery, the 1890 tall chest certainly gave me a run for my money included getting all that tenacious white paint out of every corner, remaking the drawers to match as well as turning the knobs from old stock so it all matches in patina and color. It's the best way i found to make the difficult job right, and I'm sure my client will be happy, I sure am. Jersey John films alongside Mike and his brother, Robbie Wolf. Mike owns antique archaeology, with locations in Davenport, Iowa and Nashville, Tennessee. Fan favorite Frank Last appeared on American Pickers during a March 2020 episode, as he took time off to recover from back surgery that left him with 185 stitches and two rods in his spine. He also told the U.S. Sun that he entered rehab for alcohol addiction in Yewa for 77 days. Frank revealed his feud with co-star Mike during the 2021 interview with the U.S. Sun. Frank said, I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He knew my back was messed up, but he didn't call me up and ask how I was doing. That's just how it is. The show was tilted towards him 1000%. I can't even bend that far down to show you how much. That's fine. It's like you've got Aerosmith and there's Steven Tyler and he's the frontman. I found my spot. I'm second and he's number one on the show. That's no problem with me, maybe he does have a problem. He even admitted, I think Mike wants to get his brother Robbie in there to replace me. I don't know why he's behaving like that towards me. In July 2022, Frank suffered a debilitating stroke that reportedly left his decision-making capacity impaired. He has been placed under conservatorship as he continues to recover from the stroke. A friend told the Quad City Times that Frank and Mike had a tearful reunion over Memorial Day weekend. The pal said, This was not a feud between Mike and Frank at all. They were not feuding. They needed separation to appreciate each other. The friend explained that the longtime buddy's relationship became tense after 11 seasons of working 10-hour days, seven days a week on the reality TV show. She informed the newspaper that Mike and Frank were both in tears during their long-awaited reunion. The friend disclosed, both were crying, before adding that Mike brought up how nervous they both were to be going on David Letterman, which was one of their first big appearances. Mike told his former co-star, nobody can replace you, Frank, while admitting that it was Frank's uniquely funny personality that contributed to them working so well together for the 11 years they spent making the show. The arrangements were made after Frank told the friend, I need to talk to Mike, so she called the TV personality on Mother's Day to make the plans. The insider ended, Mike really stressed all the good times they had before the show and during the show. Mike did say he'd like Frank back on the show, but Frank is focused on his health, Topic Jersey Johns and Mike Wolf thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, American Pickers 24, and stay with us.